everybody! Let's make kimchi today with mustard greens. In Korean, kat kimchi. Mustard greens is just one syllable in Korean, kat. Kat kimchi. This is around two pounds. And yesterday, I went to Chinatown and I bought this mustard greens. This is the like smallest batch of kat kimchi that I can make for you. A good thing about the kak kimchi recipe is that you don't have to add a lot of hot pepper flakes because we love actually the kind of more green color. First, I like to add some water here. Just mix like this with the water and then I'm going to salt. Add three tablespoons of salt. Don't worry, we are not eating all this salt. Just only salting process. Very good quality. Look at them, beautiful. This is stem part and leaves. So stem, stem part, so more salt. Let this sit like this for two hours. Every 30 minutes, you need to turn it over, just so that it's evenly salted. I use whole leaves, like this long, and, but you guys can cut off. Just anyway, when you eat, you are supposed to cut, because too long. But I also enjoy their kind of long stems, so that's why I'm showing you this. And if you cut it around two inch size, I already pre-salted, I will bring it. I cannot wait until all this salting is done, right? <laughs> This is two pounds, same amount. And then every 30 minutes, I just turn it over like this. Now, we gotta wash very thoroughly and even just between, like these leaves, there's a lot of you know, dust sometimes and soil. I gotta wash all this nicely. Look at that, dirty water. And change water, so around a couple of times until it's so clean. Drain this and set aside. Now, we're gonna make some kimchi paste. I'm using anchovy kelp stock to make it more tasty. I always have some anchovy kelp stock in my freezer. So I throw it out and it's perfect. But if we don't have anchovy kelp stock, just use plain water. It will still be delicious. Half a cup stock. You can also use beef or chicken stock too. Then one tablespoon glutinous rice flour. And heat it up. Medium high heat. It's cooked so quickly. I stir for about two minutes, and when it starts bubbling, I will add one tablespoon sugar. This is sugar, one tablespoon. And turn down the heat to medium, and keep stirring. Turn off. Add quarter cup fish sauce. Wow, well, smells good. Let it cool down thoroughly. Four garlic cloves and just one teaspoon ginger. Garlic and ginger minced. And we gotta use some onion about a quarter cup amount, and slice. So now, I'm going to make a kimchi. I drain this water. See, lots of water coming here. And I'm going to put it here. Discard this water. Then, for this, now nicely cool down. Garlic, ginger, onion. So, gochugaru quarter cup. Mm. 
nice kind of kimchi paste and I add all this. This hot kimchi is, uh, I don't use uh, much seasonings. So nice kind of green color. And sooner or later, the water coming out, juicy and make it really looks nice. This is hot kimchi we made with two pounds of mustard greens. And you can put this in the airtight container or any jar and keep in the refrigerator. It will take around two weeks to ferment. If you want to ferment so quickly, leave it on the kitchen counter just a couple of days until it tastes sour, it smells sour. You will see every day check out. Sometimes you need to turn over so that kimchi is still just mixing together with the kimchi juice. You can eat it right after making this just like other types of kimchi. Uh, but especially this hot kimchi is more tasty when it's fermented, sour taste. This is, I kind of made this maybe two months ago, I made this hot kimchi and it's well fermented. I almost you know, finished eating this. Brine, glass of brine is coming out. Look at color. And now this is olive green. I'm going to put it this here. Like this. You see the difference between fermented and freshly made. And then cut it. Cut it just right at the table so that it's more this hot kimchi get the more attention. Mmm. Mmm. Very fresh. Fresh kind of a taste. Yummy. And this one, I will eat with my rice. Mmm. Mm. The reason I love this cut, this mustard greens, leaves are kind of thick and really plump and kind of tender, soft. It reminds me of a cut produced in particular some island in Korea. I grew up in the city of Yeosu. There is a small island right there, Dolsan. So Dolsan uh, cut is very famous. In the old days, kimchi made with cut from Dolsan they were sent to the Korean king. So this is like everybody knows the Dolsan Kat Kimchi. And when I lived in Missouri, Colombia, I went to the farmer's market. So, you know, it's in America. Everything's brand new for me. And then just I browse everywhere. I found it looks like this mustard greens from Dolsan Island. The owner was a Korean lady. And then I just uh, Asked, why wow, it looks like a Dolsan God. She said, yes, that's from Dolsan God. What? What's happening? And she said her mom was living in Dolsan. Still, she was living in Dolsan. And every year, mom sent her kind of seeds. So she has some her own patch. She's growing mustard green, special Dolsan God. Oh my, I couldn't believe her. And her like a kind of bunch was a big bunch. My heart was beating. Wow, it's like in the middle of nowhere in America. I found a Korean cat from Dolsan. And then the ladies from Dolsan, her hometown is Dolsan. She's so funny. She and I, we made good friends. I bought almost all of her the mustard greens she brought because I was excited to make this kimchi and then share with my friends. So this is like rumor is spread, you know, so Korean community is so small. The farmer friend told me that, thanks to you, my cat is all the time sold out. Thank you. So she gave me some extra stuff. 
<laughs> Whenever I make this gakimchi and eating, and then think about the Korean dolsan gat, and also my friend, farmer friend in Missouri, Colombia. Today, I showed you how to make my recipe for gakimchi, mustard green kimchi. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.